and anxious not to miss the zeitgeist, the BBC in London commissioned a thriller about tartan terrorists. I'm glad you joined. Right. Just exactly what is it I've joined? Scottish Liberation Army. We're the front line boys. The shock troops, you understand? When the man himself gives the word and the revolution starts, maybe we'll do something big together, right? And people will stop telling us what to do. And we'll start telling them. Well, I was writing the books then with a friend of mine called Andrew Osmond, and we hoped, of course, it would be a bit of a stir. It did that all right. Dramatised by the BBC at the height of the troubles in Northern Ireland, the linking of the terrorist Scottish Liberation Army to the SNP provoked a furious response from the nationalists, even forcing Heard to write to the Glasgow Herald in defence of his work. Now, I'm not accusing the Scottish Nationalist Party. I'm relieved to hear that. But the movement has always had a fringe of wild men. Oh, the famous Scottish Liberation Army. I wonder when we'd come to that. Well, you've seen the reports from Special Branch. In the Scottish Nationalists were very sensitive. Um, the Scottish Nationalists had taken a huge amount of trouble to, to destroy it, to discredit and destroy it. They succeeded, and Scotch on the Rocks hasn't been near a television screen since. These were very sensitive times. 